How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video where today we're going to be exploring an abandoned house absolutely full of stuff. Really interesting location. But I just wanted to jump in first of all and say that actually this was the first video I filmed back after my big hiatus so I might be a little bit rusty in the commentary and stuff like that. Obviously at this point I haven't recorded in quite a while so I completely forget to do an intro and things like that and there's a few other things I forget to do and talk about etc. So apologies for that. I hope you guys enjoy the video anyway and I'll see you guys again later on. See ya! Oh my god, there's actually loads of stuff outside the house. I'm guessing at some point this might have been a shed, but it looks like it's fallen apart. We have some old uh, tool benches and stuff. It's like a rat cage as well. What is that? Is that a rat cage? I don't know. It looks like a rat cage to me, or some kind of small rodent cage. There's another one down here. But I don't know. So guys, this is the house from the outside, and as you can tell, it's proper old. I don't know how long this has been here, but quite a while, I'm going to guess. It's covered in like green sliminess and vines and stuff hanging down from the windows. Yeah, this has been abandoned a very, very long time. Right, let's go check out inside. Oh, it's quite a cool little door knocker on the door. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? What is that? Is that a dog? Yeah, it's like a, a greyhound, not a greyhound, a, um, like a beagle. Does it still knock? Oh, so yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Basset hound. Is it basset hound? Yeah. Ah, okay. It's got a very. It smells like a school almost. It's yeah, it's you know like the smell on me. It's like a musty kind of old yeah. old woody sort of smell. Smell of uh, what did you say? It smells like a school. A school. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know exactly that. Yeah. It's like old books and old wood, yeah, isn't it? It's it that kind of uh, boring. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's check out this room first. And this looks like it was some kind of study, I think. So we've got a desk just in front here, full as well with these little slides. I love slides. Can we actually see through a little bit of that? I'll try and enhance that in post so you guys can see. It's so difficult to sort of show these sort of things. To me, that looks like some kind of plow. Guys, show this out, it's actually one of those really old alarm clocks as well. I wonder if it still works. It's a wind-up one as well, so it might still work. All right, so I thought I'd give it a go and see, but actually you twist it and you can just feel there's no tension on that at all, so it's definitely not gonna work anymore. It's a shame. It's a lovely little thing though. The rest of this room looks kind of plain. There's not too much. There's a kind of old Hoover, which is really cool. I don't even know what brand that is it's got from. Wow, it's Hitachi. I didn't even know who actually did hoovers. Right, so the guys have gone upstairs now, so I'm going to check out this room opposite, which looks a lot more jam-packed. The guy liked uh, chihuahuas. Chihuahuas? Yeah, a lot of books on chihuahuas, a photo of a chihuahua. Oh. I'm wondering if that's... Did he have a chihuahua? Was that a cage? Yeah. So here's a little bit closer look at that. So this is like a cage, and like ordinary, like I said, I would think this was rodent or something, but it does have a dog bed in it um so yeah i don't know although i have to say it does have like um 
like I don't know, you call it like a shelf or something that would be more likely for birds or something. It's a very odd thing to have just in the corner of the room, so these random cages. What have we got in here? Lots of glasses and stuff. Old thermos. Cups. Plates. I've got an old clock as well up there. That's, that's really cool. Clock stopped at quarter to eight. How is it now? Oh, hang on. That's... <laughs> that's really freaky. I'm not making this up, guys. I'm not making this up. The clock stopped at quarter to eight. Currently, right now, if I can get this on camera, <laughs> it's quarter to eight. It's. I'm not even joking. Look, it is quarter to eight right now. I'm not joking. I've watched it for a little bit. Like, is it still working? <laughs> <laughs> That's freaky. <laughs> Whenever you see that, you're like, oh, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Lots of pictures on the wall, more pictures of dogs, like a grasshopper. So I've got a plethora of books in this room as well. I'll try and get to this, but it's quite difficult because there's lots of stuff on the floor. Which means I can't really back away that much, but check this out. A whole cabinet full of books. So again, we've got books on chihuahuas. Uh, what's this? Community farming, again, you see that lots of farming stuff. This, this must have been some kind of farm hand or farmhouse at some point. Dog's medical dictionary, every man's book of dog. There's a very, very definite theme to these. It's like dogs, farming and agriculture, that kind of stuff. Pretty cool though. So we've got a little sort of cupboard under the stairs through here with some very, very impressive looking spider webs. They are black as a well. And it goes around the corner a bit. And then through here, we've got a pretty small kitchen. Cold, as soon as I'm walking into this, I can feel it's cold, which is unusual. I'm guessing there must be a window out here somewhere, probably. Yeah, I think just through there. Um, but it's got a lot of stuff in it still. And then around the corner, we've got, ah, see the door's open. That's probably why it's really cold in there. I think for me, when I name this house, it's gonna be something to do with cages, because uh, there are a lot. Like, even the food's caged away. <laughs> <laughs> Mustn't let the animals escape or the food. An old looking microwave there again with more tins on top of it. And that is a Panasonic microwave with cornflakes and oats inside it for some reason. <laughs> Quite a tight little place this, it's very small. I'm trying to move around but the angle on my uh, lens isn't wide enough to show you everything. So this is the toilet. Still quite neat, got lots of things on the floor like uh, toilet brush, the cleaning stuff. You've got like, a little heater above the loo right there, which I can imagine when it was freezing cold and nippy in the winter, this would have been absolutely necessary. And look at the old cistern as well. That's actually really cool. You barely see cisterns like that anymore, ever. And that looks to be sort of cast iron or something. Very solid looking thing. I'm not gonna walk in here, because again, look at the cobwebs. <laughs> absolutely everywhere. But there's a lot of stuff. I mean, look at this, there's all these utensils still hung up. Just left as if the person's going to come home for dinner tonight. So even the uh, washing up still on the on the drainer. So I can't show you this, but I've just found a a letter, which is to the left of the camera. I'm not going to pan over because I don't want you guys to see this because it probably has an address on it. But it's dated the 2009, 10th of December, and it's for a urology appointment. So that's 12 years. 
I generally actually would have said that was less than I thought. I would have thought it'd be more than that because of the state of the house. But then if it's been uncared for for that long and it is literally a, a sort of not a brick house like we showed you outside, it's like this sort of compacted mud stuff, maybe they do deteriorate faster. Right, so I think we're about done downstairs. Let's go and check out the upstairs part. I'm hoping this is not going to be too janky up the stairs because they look pretty old. I oh, know they feel quite solid. That's good. The room on your right's got a gun cabinet. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh. I see the condom get on the floor. Oh god, really? <laughs> yes. Someone found this as a romantic location to bring someone. Oh god. So I've been upstairs two seconds. The guys already said there's a gun cabinet, which there is over in the corner. I'll show you that in a second. But apparently someone's. Uh, decided this was a romantic place to bring their significant other. <laughs> I'm not really sure this is the place I'd want to bring somebody, but <laughs> each to their own, I guess. So apart from that, this room's pretty bare. There is a, a bed and stuff, which looks brand new, actually. There's a few bits on the windowsill over here. But well, you can see all the cobwebs and stuff on the corner, how thick they are. And yeah, this is why the house is in such a bad state, because all these little windows have broken and smashed, and they're letting all the elements in. I think it'll be much longer in this, uh, house will probably be gone. I mean, you can see the cracks inside here, and that's probably part of the outside where we saw that the plaster falling off. Nice little uh, cast iron fireplace there. But yeah, let's check out the bit you guys are definitely wanting to see, I'm guessing. And that is this gun cabinet. Right guys, I couldn't get this open, so Colin said he had to come and help me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can see it's in a gun cabinet, would have had slots for guns and stuff, but there are no guns in it, unless there were, and Colin's taken them to shoot me later. <laughs> right, let's carry on through. Uh, let's go. Let's go directly opposite first. I think this room looks jam-packed full of stuff. What on earth? Got another typewriter as well, and a creepy-looking doll. Always a good sign. So moving in further into the room, we've got some old clothes, which look again. These look well preserved. I'm guessing this, until recently, this must have been closed because that looks, I mean, that doesn't look dusty. It looks really, really nice. So I'm guessing these have been sealed in the water over a while. These are actually really cool. So we've got, is that like a snuff box? It's like a snuff box, but we've got some kind of radio. And then what I would call a wireless because it's more of a sort of fabric-y kind of wooden type thing, but it's probably a radio as well. That's actually really cool. I don't know if you've heard it, but there was something crawling around the roof over there earlier. Oh really? Yeah, so be, be prepared for a squirrel to come down and bite your knee or something. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I would have thought of rat first of all, but you went to squirrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Colin's just said apparently there is something crawling around in the corner somewhere, so there might be something that jumps out at us at the minute. I haven't heard anything since I've been here, but then I haven't really got in the corner properly. Not too much in there, there's just lots of clothes and things. Small soft tissue boxes. Oh god, there we go. There we go. I heard that then. There's definitely something in the uh, in the ceiling. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I definitely heard something above me in the ceiling. Right guys, so we've got one more room to check out and I think we're going to try and put a garage outside if we can. So this is the last room we haven't been in yet. This looks more like a bedroom to me. I think the last bedroom or last room was actually just for storage. Wow, actually the first thing I've just seen is this suitcase on here that says Kenya on it. So I'm going to guess this person was quite well travelled because when we saw those photos downstairs that look like India or something like that, we've just seen like incense or something in the other room which looks like it might have been some kind of souvenir from an Asian place and we've just found this it says Kenya on it as well so yeah I'm going to guess this person was very well travelled in their youth probably not necessarily as they got older oh we've got a whole load more of slides as well yes I like slides yes yeah, so we've got another whole box of these it's so hard to show you this on camera but hopefully you can sort of see yeah there you go you can probably see roughly what that is and we've got a box of snakes and ladders and a whole load of books so we've got Books on common poisons and plants of East Africa. 
We've got a handbook of Indian agriculture, a safari book. Again, that common theme coming through quite strongly in this one. Sometimes you're a bit like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But this one's very obvious. This person was into one, traveling, two, agriculture, and three, dogs. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. So guys, check this out. Underneath this box here, I mean, it's like a sewing box there. But just move this, and you've got pick packs. Now this is a game I've actually never heard of, but just from the, the drawing alone and the uh, illustration, you can tell that is super old. So it says, an exciting family shopping game. <laughs> that sounds kind of relevant nowadays. <laughs> In a, in a day and age where we can't even go out shopping, really. I can imagine sitting, in, <laughs> sitting inside playing a game about shopping would actually be kind of fun. Right, guys, so I think we're about done in the house. So I'm going to check out a few of the outbuildings. There's a, there's a few dotted around. It's not too many. Uh, there's like a little shed over here. There's another little shed over here and some bits down the side. And obviously we've been past that over there, which I think was a shed that's now falling apart. But uh, yeah, let's go check out this one first. Let's assume we can get in here. It looks like it's half collapsing. God, yeah, doesn't it? Oh, there's quite a bit in there. That's a shame because it, I can't really get in there. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like a little uh, table over there with some more cages. It definitely feels like this person kept chihuahuas in particular, but dogs of some description. But these cages look very, very small. I mean, there's one under the kitchen counter that literally is absolutely tiny. And it says it's for uh, tequila chihuahuas, but it looks so small. Yeah, look, it's completely falling in. Might be able to see it from the top more than the house. Oh. Yeah, I can't see what you guys saw there, but that's probably about the best look I can get because uh, the ceiling is proper collapsing on the door. Let's check this one out, see what's in here. Oh, okay, so we've got some more cages again. More dog bowls, lots of dog bowls actually. It's actually got their names written on it as well, so there it says Teddy. And I noticed as I walked in over here somewhere, where's it gone? There we go. It says Toby. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not that easy to see, but it says Toby. So I wonder if those are the names of the dogs. And again, these cages very, very small, but we're seeing dog bowls everywhere, so it must be dogs. Just can't imagine you'd keep a dog in that. Right, so this is the side of the house. And it looks like this shed goes on a little bit further. So we've got some more kennels, I think. And that is the side entrance to the house. Wow, that's actually quite cool. So we've got some, uh, I don't know, I don't know, like chutneys or, I mean, it could even be homemade dog food. That's definitely a potential, it could be homemade dog food. And it looks like in there, there's some more tins and stuff as well. Have we got anything in the fridge of interest? So into the fridge, there's actually quite a bit. Uh, I can see definitely El Paso enchilada mix down there. Definitely a lot of moths and things in here. And there's like a freezer section at the top. I don't know. It could be for the dogs or it could just be literally normal storage food, I don't know. Is that a, that's a baby carriage. There's a baby carriage right there with a wok randomly on it. More dog beds more cages. I mean, look at the size of these cages. They look absolutely tiny. Oh, hang on. So I wasn't going to go all the way in, but actually I've just seen something I want to see. So if we can get through this without falling through the floor. We've got an old Singer sewing machine there with the thread still on it as well. That's cool. So this is the side of the house, I think. And this leads back into the kitchen. Yes, yeah, so we've got the microwave there. And that's the kitchen and stuff through there. Now, the dust there's a garage somewhere, but we, none of us have seen a garage yet. Oh. Oh, there's more. We've got a greenhouse just there. And another little shed. God, look at the state of the ceiling on here. That does not look good going to be very careful if I venture into this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to show you from here because that does look, that looks ready to collapse. That honestly looks like it's going to come down. Lots of mess, doesn't it? there's too much there. Lots of rope and things. The thing I noticed first of all when I came out, it was actually all the keys. There's a whole load of keys and stuff on the back of the door. All right, so back to the car. 
I still haven't found a garage yet, but there is another little building which looks completely trashed just beyond the car. Not much to show you, they're just like wooden shacks that the roof's collapsed. Yeah, I think these would have been at some point again uh, dog enclosures, like a little door there. But these are falling to pieces. Right, so we've just found another bit we haven't actually uh, looked at yet. <laughs> so, and apparently there's a record player in here. There's loads of little sheds just dotted around all over the place. So I'm actually gonna film this on my phone because I've put the camera away now. This is for when he was in trouble with his wife and he had to like find somewhere to yeah. escape, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely, a little, little <laughs> bit of hideaway. Look at this, a little grooming set. Still oh, got a bar of soap in there, it's just falling out of there. I can't remember the last time I saw one of those, a travelling clock. Oh, my dad used to have one of those. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure my dad's got one somewhere. This is so cool. Oh, really? Yeah. See, there's a projector as well. Yeah, I can see that, yeah. Do you reckon that's for those little slides? Possibly, it looks yeah, like a slide yeah, projector. That's yeah. what it is. We've just found there's another couple of little sheds as well. There's one, like, trashed by the looks of it. <laughs> Underneath the little bushes there, you probably can't even see that, but that mound right in front of you in the camera, I'll try and circle it or something. That is actually another shed, but it's just encased in branches. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait, it's a. Oh! Like a greenhouse y type thing, I think. Oh, yeah. So, guys, we've actually just noticed even more. This is like the site that keeps on giving. So, we're just walking down, and this could possibly potentially be the garage. We still haven't found a garage, and we found keys inside for a garage, so. I don't know. Oh, little medicine bowl. Right, so, ow, I've just got a tree to the face. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, wow, God, there's loads in there. What's that? Have you seen it? It's a little bit. Yeah, it's in the horseshoes above the. Uh... We've got nice paintings on it. Oh, horseshoes. Yeah, the horseshoes, yeah. Pages just said, I don't even see those. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What have we got? Ooh, ooh, what is that? That's quite cool. Ooh. We've got a boat. We've got a boat. A boat. There's, I don't know what that is, like some kind of plough thing. And then there's a boat. Wow, well, a little dinghy. Ooh, got some sort of chest over here. Ooh. Is it a treasure chest? That's a nice little boat. That's really cool. Funny thing is, there's no water around here. Look, it's got a name on there as well. Yeah. Paddle duck. Where did it say that? <laughs> it says it on the inside. Oh yeah, puddle, and puddle duck. Puddle. That was a boat trailer as well. Ha, I didn't even see that. <laughs> you stepped straight over a boat trailer. See it. <laughs> <laughs> this must be the garage. Yeah, I reckon this is what they call the garage. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a letter. Opener. Oh, wow. Definitely worth a look, wasn't it? Yeah. So, I mean, that's come from Kenya or India or somewhere. Yeah. Like, somewhere yeah. far. I mean, that tankard's quite cool as well. Yeah. That's a hand carved, that tankard. Really? Yeah, you wow. can tell by the work on it. It's all done by him. More books, your favourite. <laughs> Fundamentals of electricity for agriculture. There's definitely an agricultural theme, isn't there, Lecky? <laughs> Whoever it is likes agriculture and dogs. We found a lot more than I expected. Yeah, hell of a lot more. Yeah. It's kept giving this little place. Yeah, yeah it, it is literally the one that keeps giving in there. <laughs> right, guys, so I think we're about done, to be honest. That is all she wrote. Uh, and she wrote a lot, to be fair. <laughs> there was more and more and more as we kept going. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment down below. Go and check out Colin's channel. It'll be linked in the description. And I'll see you guys again next time. See ya. Wrap it rag around my face. I pull my hoodie on. This ain't no time for rookies young. Got my octo camo on. So the wind can't be worried about no five or special ops. I keep my composer steady. Thunder to follow gold because I'm off the top. Give me a mirror to the seven nations. They made us